and welcome to another edition of Carbs. You're on Recklessly and the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Matt Sign here doing more Arby's. This is the new Cinnamon Apple Crisp. <clears throat> that was quite the burp. Uh, this is spilled all over the container. It's Wow, it's hot as hell too. I'm going to hate this and uh, there's going to be so many comments that are like, uh, oh, so many burps. I just downed some Diet Coke, that's why. Why are you doing a review if you know you hate something? Nobody out there ever reviews something that they know they won't like. That's not what reviewing's about. It's about being unbiased. You do unbiased reviews. All reviews are unbiased. Legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. Shut up. You have no idea what you're talking about if you think all reviews are unbiased. Every, reviews are all biased. That's the whole point of a review. It's somebody's opinion, you idiot. Uh, how does this open without burning myself? <sighs> oh, God. Oh, no. God damn it. It went everywhere. All right, well, I'm going to try some on my hand. Oh, it went everywhere. I'm reviewing it off my clothes. Mmm. <laughs> actually pretty good. <laughs> Go ahead and follow me. At Mad Zion Wee on Twitter. And Mad Zion Wee on Instagram. Links are in the description down below if you want to follow me. Now that I'm covered in more food, because some of the meat mountains spilled on me too. All right. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. Actually, you know what? I thought I was going to hate it, but to have, eating it off my clothes, it just tasted like brown sugar for the most part. And I love brown sugar. I just don't like apple very much. It's weird too. There's a... In high school, random story by saying apple, there was a kid, like, we all had a big group of friends, and the only one of my friends in that group that I never discovered what happened to him was a kid that we nicknamed Apple. I have no idea what the hell happened to him. He just vanished. Like, after high school, nobody knows what happened to him. Even like, other people I know that weren't really close friends that knew him, they don't know what the hell happened. They think he, like, went into the Navy or something. Never heard from him again. But hey, Apple, if you're out there, you're awesome, and I think about you every once in a while. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Uh, I hope this is good. The top and the cake part are really good. It's the apple part I'm not really digging. I'm not a big fan, like I said, of apple stuff. Mmm. Mmm, the top's amazing, though. If it was just the top part, like in cake form, and they got rid of the apple part, this would be pretty damn good. I'm just gonna keep eating the top part, because that's the best part. <laughs> oh my god, if it was like a brown sugar cake thing, I would decimate this thing. It's the apple parts. Take those out. I don't like things that are healthy. I'm fat. And I enjoy big butts, and I cannot lie. Well, for what it is, I know it's fairly cheap. I think it's only like $2, if even that. It was one of the cheaper, like, dessert items. But I like it. I, I just, I wouldn't get it on my own time. The apple part kills it for me. Like I said, if they had a variation, I bet you could probably ask for no apple. But I don't know. This also kind of looked like it was pre-made. So I'm iffy on it as I eat more. Super hungry. It has its moments. I would give it a low three. I think if you like this type of thing though it would probably get a five it's got a lot of flavor and for being a fast food thing i don't really tell it's a fast food thing this almost tastes like it would just be cooked by somebody like fresh right in your living room and then you're like why the hell are you in my living room and he's like because i made you food and you're like uh i didn't say you could come in my house though like bro make it on the street and i'll throw rocks at you that's what i do to people sometimes i throw rocks i'm just eating the top part <laughs> it's all right though Go ahead and check it out. They have it at Arby's right now as we speak. If you've had it, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Also, go ahead and tell me because uh, I'm so unbiased that I shouldn't be doing reviews and I should just move to the Himalayas and track down the Sasquatch. That's where he lives. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs on Reckless Eating. We'll see you next time. Reckless Eating! Reckless Eating!